The Vandegrift High School girls soccer team made campus history this weekend, winning the school's first ever state title, but that victory has become overshadowed by the actions of a police officer in Georgetown, caught on camera trying to trip several students rushing the field. We first told you about the issue last night at 10, and tonight KXAN's Chris Sodegy spoke with one of the students in the video. If I would have been an inch closer, I could have significantly gotten hurt. Fortunately for her, Audrey Ziari was just quick enough to avoid being tripped by Officer George Bermudez, unlike her friend who limped away after being chopped down. He like actually got hurt. Like his foot, I, I know he like complained about it for like a long time after. The video of Bermudez calmly walking as students storm the field before suddenly tripping, grabbing, and pushing them has led to complaints from parents. Audrey says she left the stands before, but admits she wasn't totally sure this time. I think kind of everyone was like, oh, if we win, we're all going to storm the field and everything, because we've done that at like home basketball games. And other kids were saying that there was an announcement that said that we couldn't storm the field at all. With that uncertainty, some high schoolers decided what the heck and left their seats for the field, even if it was a long way down. It was kind of a significant drop and it was kind of scary. Still, even if they weren't allowed on the field, she thinks there were better options for the officer. I think would have been the appropriate response would have been to like shoo kids off. I didn't think the force was necessary at all. But Audrey's laughing about it now, just happy she's not the class clown. I would have been like, like flat on my face. The, there was video cameras everywhere. It would have been so embarrassing. But In Northwest Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Officer Bermudez, George Bermudez, was placed on paid administrative leave this afternoon. The Georgetown police chief released a statement saying, quote, there are times when we fail to get it right. When the circumstances like these occur, I simply ask, as would any chief, for the public's patience, end quote. Leander ISD says they'll review the facts before determining if there should be any punishments for the students who rushed onto the field. Well, what are the policies out there for rushing on a field or a basketball court? Well, it's unwritten because the UIL doesn't have a written policy, obviously discouraged to keep fans and players safe. And how does it work in the college ranks? Big 12, for instance, University of Texas, they do not have a policy for rushing the field or rushing the court. SEC, however, They'll find a school, 5000 bucks the first time fans go into the competition area, up to 25000 even 50 for additional violations. It actually happened in March. South Carolina hmm. basketball fans stormed the court after a basketball win over Kentucky.